Sorry? No! What are you doing here? Quiet! Harry Potter! The boy who lived! Come to die! What is up Disney nerds? Today, I just saw Fantastic Beasts 3 and I want to talk about it. Let's get into it. So, first I would like to say that this movie was definitely better than Crimes Against Grindelwald, uh, Grindelwald, however you pronounce it. I didn't really care for Fantastic Beasts 2, it was alright, it was definitely leading up to this movie and it was definitely um, a sequel to the first one. I feel like it was just a mid movie, the second one. First one I loved, but this one, definitely amazing and I loved it. It was definitely an interesting conclusion uh, Grindelwald and I'm assuming we're going to see him again. I have not read the books, but um, if I have, I'm sure he will be appearing in another movie. Um, and the actors did an amazing job within this movie, and I will say justice for Johnny Depp, and I am very upset that he didn't get this role, um, of continuing him as Grindelwald, but I will say that Mads, uh, Mickelstein, um, uh, Mickelson, I don't really know how to say his last name, did an excellent job, and in my opinion, I felt that it was slightly better than Johnny Depp's performance as, uh, Grindelwald, or Grendelwald, Grindelwald. Um, so anyways, I feel like Mads did a fantastic job, and his performance was definitely more sinister and wicked when it came to the role of Grindelwald, and he was definitely one of the best parts of this movie for me, in my opinion, and that's what I really loved about this movie, was just his evilness, and like, even though he was barely in the movie, I felt, except for like, kind of towards the end, he definitely had more of a wicked tone and more like sinister vibes. And that's what I really liked about this movie is the sinister vibes that it gave off with Grindelwald. And uh, not even just his performance, but uh, Dumbledore's performance in this uh, as Dumbledore, I forget his name, uh, but he did an excellent job as Dumbledore. Uh, so did Newt, uh, respect for all those characters as well. I also loved this story and so I wanted to break that down to you and what I thought was the best parts of this movie. So there are going to be spoiler alerts in this movie, in this review. Uh, so first off, we are shown that Dumbledore and Grindelwald are sitting having coffee and we see that they were kind of in love at some point or another. Whether that means friendship or romantically. Um, personally, I, it doesn't really matter, but I do think that, um, they did have a romance relationship at one point, uh, or it led up to, uh, Dumbledore liking Grindelwald, Grindelwald not liking Dumbledore back, and, um, that was definitely an interesting point with, uh, this spell that he had around his cast, and then the moment at the end where he didn't like him anymore, he wasn't in love with Grindelwald anymore, and it broke. That was pretty cool, and I do like that. Uh, it definitely gave some interesting vibes to it. And we also see that Grindelwald wants to become a ruler, and he seeks this creature that is like a soul seeker and can see through your soul and see if you're pure or evil. He uses this seeker to make him this ruler of magic or some type of ruler, uh, whether that means like a king or um, like a senate type thing. I feel this movie was extremely funny when it came to like some scenes, like especially the lobster scene when they were in the prison, uh, when Newt was in the prison looking for his brother. I just love that scene, it was definitely funny. Me and my grandmother were cracking up at that scene and it was definitely a hilarious uh, film when it came to that. 
and sometimes I don't like when they over exaggerate the funniness but this I felt like was perfect it's the body language was a perfect aspect and this movie was a very gory um, Harry Potter film when it like it came to like the prison scene especially there was some gore to this movie and I kind of like that because I kind of like to see the gore when it came to Harry Potter uh, because we haven't really seen that before when it came to like gore I mean we did see murder murder we saw uh, Cedric uh, die in his father's arms but we never really saw gore when it came to that and definitely the romance between Jacob and Quinny is one of the best parts of this movie like the wedding at the end was amazing and seeing Gwenny just be evil it made me devastated and then when she became good again I was like thank god because I wouldn't like Quinny becoming evil like Anakin Skywalker turning to the Darth Vader that would be devastating for me. I love Newt in this obviously Newt is the main character and Newt is my favorite uh, character when it comes to Fantastic Beasts. Him and Jacob were the classic two and they will always be my favorite characters and Newt and Jacob are one of my favorite Harry Potter characters because I personally like the Fantastic Beasts movies as Harry Potter movies and I consider them Harry Potter movies. I know a lot of people say oh they're not really Harry Potter movies. They are. Um, and I really like these ones and I love how it really focuses on Dumbledore and focuses and it makes you know that it is uh, affiliated with Harry Potter when it shows Hogwarts and it shows all that and that's what I really like about it and overall this movie was amazing and I would recommend it uh, definitely it's better than the second one I know the second one did not was not that good um, and yeah I hope they make a fourth one there is a fourth one in the works right now currently so hopefully they do make a fourth one and that's really all I have this movie was great and I will see you guys next time Disney Nerd out peace Thank you.